Hi guys, Squirrel here, and this was a bit of a surprise on April 1st. What you're looking at here is a bit of genius from the War Thunder development team. We're flying ponies, uh, rainbow ponies to be exact. My little rainbow ponies. Yep. Uh, what can I say? Uh, this, <laughs> this is possibly the best April Fool expansion of any any game I've ever played. What they've done is they've created a new country, in quotes, and dumped in a whole bunch of these ponies. They're all the same stats, exactly the same stats, the only difference is the colour and the style. They carry two 500 kilogram candy bombs, uh, eight rockets, and four rainbow cannons. And when they explode, they explode into sort of rainbow dust. I think this thing is probably for today only. I don't know if they're going to carry this on. I think they'll probably use it later to improve the tech tree and we'll be able to see, you know, maybe other things other than ponies or maybe they'll allow different armaments on the ponies. But for now, uh, all I can say is get the damn game if you don't have it. Get in there today and you will power level so fast you won't believe it. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically show you some of the things I've learned. Here you can see me trying to take down another pony, and this is the first mistake. It is very, very hard to take down other ponies. I've been flying around after this thing for absolutely ages, and only when he steadies up can I actually get the kill and he explodes into rainbow dust. This is not the quickest way to level. Shooting down other ponies is not the fastest way to power level if that's what you're trying to do, and I strongly suggest that's what you do because like I say, the bonus... What, what's happening is this. These ponies are effectively got a jet model on them. I'm not sure exactly which jet it is. But because it's a jet, it's quite high level. And when you get XP, when you destroy things, you get a lot of XP because it's considering that you did it with a jet. So the net result is, if you go around destroying ground aircraft, you will net so much XP. And I'll show you some of the techniques I've learnt now, and then I'll show you a full game where, yeah... I put all those techniques into practice. So the first thing to note is the two 500 kilogram candy bombs that you get. Two candy bombs will destroy one of these destroyers. So all you need to do is fly over it, aim the crosshair, smack on the middle, release, and bang, that's 4,200 XP for dropping two candy bombs. But it doesn't stop there. You get eight rockets. Now, you can, of course, shoot these AAA down with your uh, cannon, but, you know, what the hell, let's just get in there with some rockets, double strike. Now, the thing is, the longer you keep doing this, you're going to start getting multiplier bonuses as well. So you can just do these giant bombing strafing runs. If you see clusters of tanks, drop a bomb in the middle of the lot, you'll take out three tanks. Otherwise, rocket, shoot, just kill everything on the ground. You'll get XP like you won't believe. One candy bomb will take out one of those pillboxes. Like I say, two candy bombs take out a destroyer. And one bomb will take out a nice tight cluster of vehicles. Uh, otherwise, just rocket the vehicles. That's my advice. You can see, got some tanks, rocket, straight in between the trees. <laughs> you couldn't do that on a normal plane. I'd have took my wings off, but you can in a candy pony. Of course, in between all this rocketing and bombing, you've got two choices. I've got one rocket now. That's my last rocket. So I've used all my bombs and all my rockets, and because your crew skills are very, very low, your reload times are very high. That means you've either got to sit around and wait the best part of four minutes to get your rockets back and six minutes to get your bombs back. You can either shoot aircraft down like that, which will net you brilliant XP, but you can spend a long time doing it. The other thing to do is fly into the ground or fly into uh, a ground unit, or if you're a complete douchebag, fly into an enemy plane. But basically, destroy your aircraft, respawn, come back in with your bombs and rockets. I know it's cheap, but this is, I think, for one day only, so it's a hell of a way of grinding XP. Now, canyon bombing is one of my favourite things to do. You need to make a quick decision because you're in jets. Should I rocket these or should I drop bombs? I decide because there's clusters of heavy tanks, I decide to drop a bomb. Just to try it out more than anything, but while I'm down there... I go for that heavy tank, but I realise I'm going to hit the floor if I do. I think I've got an enemy on me. Uh, so what I do instead is climb. And when I climb, I kill the throttle somewhat. Slowly start to bank around. That's going to lose me some speed because I'm climbing and I've reduced the throttle. Then put the accelerator back down again, put the throttle down. 
and go in for another strafing run. Now you can just rinse and repeat this technique. Fly along the canyon, take out some ground units, climb, reduce the throttle, turn around for another pass, and just keep doing it until you clear the canyon out. Now for enemies to just let you do this, you can do this until there's nothing left. And this is a great way to gain XP. As I said, these are jets and your crew skills are quite low, so your G-Force tolerance is particularly bad. And you'll find you're blacking out an awful lot when you're turning these ponies, <laughs> in quotes, jets. Uh, there's nothing you can do about that. Well, actually, that's a lie. There are things you can do about that. If you're blacking out, immediately put dive the nose down a little bit and put some blood back into your brain. In other words, reverse the G-Forces, and that'll bring blood back and the blackout will pass away quickly. The reverse is also true. If you start to red out, then pull up a little bit quickly and uh, you'll find that your screen goes back to normal. Okay, it's time to play a full game. Now, this game in particular, uh, my recording messed up and it didn't come out with any audio. So what I've done is I've gone into the replay feature of the game, which is a bit of a lifesaver for people like me who record footage. And uh, all it means is you don't actually see my targeting circle or the enemy player names or the, uh, the text coming up. But otherwise, it's pretty much the, the same thing. It's quite a short game, this, because we absolutely smashed them. Now, this map is normally a map I don't like. Uh, it's a bit of a grand clusterfuck down here, but that essentially makes it perfect for attackers like this that can just get in there quickly, rocket and bomb, cause immense damage to these clustered enemies, uh, get ridiculous XP, turn around, do it all again, then smash into the ground. That's essentially what I'm going to do. So you saw me make my first pass, I dropped a bomb, some rockets, I'm coming back around for a second pass, finish off the rest of my bombs and rockets, and then I'm going to fly into the nearest landing aircraft. And boom, straight into a puff of rainbow dust. Spawn again, rinse, repeat. Now, you may be wondering what all this XP is going to. Well, the XP is actually going to your main uh, profile, so your, your actual profile is leveling up quite quickly which is always useful because it's going to basically let you uh, unlock stuff and it will grant you uh, free XP which you can then convert into other nations. Don't bother converting XP into this nation, uh, that would be ridiculous because if you look at the tech tree, there isn't really a tech tree, there's just a bunch of different coloured ponies. That being said, you can use it, the XP uh, to convert into other nations which should allow you to level up fairly quickly. Certainly I'm noticing great XP, not not so much great lions, you don't seem to get an awful lot of lions, but it seems to be an XP bonus day, that's what they've done, and they've made it fun, and hats off to them. I just dropped two bombs onto that destroyer, coming back round for another pass, you can see, look at the, um, down the bottom left there, look at the ground unit tally, 46 versus <laughs> 17, and how long are we in, about two minutes into the game? We're utterly smashing them. The other team is probably just trying to ra fly around taking out aircraft in a ground strike mission, which which always amazes me, actually, is people people don't seem to t pay attention to the game mode. So, you know, it's a domination game. You've got to capture airfields and protect them. It's a ground strike game. You've got to take out the ground units. Uh, they don't pay any attention. They just go for the their own personal match. And there you go. Boom! Let's take out another tank with my pony, as you do. Uh, but yeah, they don't pay attention to the ground, the, the game type, and that always, well, pisses me off to some extent because they're just going after kills. Like I say, flying around shooting ponies out the air is a little bit like trying to hit a fly with a laser beam. It is pretty difficult. The guns are very powerful, so if you do make contact, inevitably you'll destroy them. But it's, uh, like I say, if you if you move your mouse around when you're defending, actually, just just keep moving your mouse around when somebody's behind you. And you'll throw their aim off so much that they'll be pretty unlikely to hit you. Most of the time when I've been hit is in a head-on, uh, which, which seems to happen mo you know, too much to me. People see my name and then fly straight at me, I think. But that, that comes with the territory, so that's fine. So the game is actually uh, pretty much over now. You can see they've got two ground units left. That's about to end. And I get ridiculous XP. Now, because this is a replay, I can't actually show you the scorecard. So you, you can see how much XP I get for it. Just going to drop some bombs on this uh, carrier. Didn't destroy it, but I got uh, good XP just for the damage I did against it. Although they've just lost a ground unit. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... Because this game is over now. They're, they're about to use the last ground unit. As a guy tries shooting me. Uh, what I'm going to do is show the scorecard from a previous game. There's my victory roll. Let's go and have a look at the scorecard. 
Okay, this is a had this is a game I played earlier today. I got eleven ground units and one aircraft. I managed to shoot an aircraft down. But let's just have a look at what XP I got for this. There you go. Ninety six thousand. Now that is with premium of course. But that's just for one game that lasted five minutes. Ninety six thousand XP. Thirteen thousand just from service units. Ridiculous. Now I've just been spending these points on crew skills. I'm only focusing on two things, G-Tolerance and Reload Speed. That's all I'm doing for the cruise in Ponyland. I don't see any point in doing anything else, to be honest. Well, that's all from me. That's my quick guide to the Pony expansion patch, whatever you want to call it. Easter egg, April Fool bonus. Who knows what the heck this is? Who knows where they're going to go next? But hats off to Gaijin Entertainment for that, because that was an absolute perler. That's it from me. Take care, guys, and watch your six.